What's going on guys? It's uh, Chris Boyd from DominatingCommerce.com and welcome to the first uh, video in the Amazon training series. Um, what you're going to learn today is your product research. So I'm going to show you how you can find um, your first product uh, on Amazon. Um, can make anywhere between a couple of thousand dollars up to um, tens or even hundreds of thousands of dollars per month. Uh, if you don't believe me, we'll go and take a look. So um, I'll just jump into my computer here. Um, I love coffee, so if we just scroll down through here, we go shop coffee makers uh, and accessories. Uh, keep scrolling, coffee makers, French presses. So I've actually got a French press at home. So if I go shop now, so it's just a small uh, French press like this. Um, so if we go into the uh, Jungle Scout extension, uh, that's the one that I use all of the time um, to find to find my products and see how profitable they are. So these are literally just literally just full of French presses. So what this software does is it just scrapes the internet um, on Amazon specifically and it just ranks them um, by um, sometimes by keyword or in this case by um, by French press. So um, in terms of the uh, the category. So if I sort by the revenue here, you can see here number one, geez, it's like three hundred ninety-three thousand uh, dollars per month. And even if I scroll down, so that's that's not even not even just the number one um, sales. Like you could be uh, up to, I would say like even what number is that along the. Uh, so you're gonna have like probably the, the the top 20 orders is making like more than five thousand dollars per month. So it just goes to show that like it it might not cost um, a lot in terms of dollars, but just the pure amount of volume that they sell. Like this one here, the best selling, uh, 411 sales per day. So they're making up the the bulk of their revenue um, through through the volume of sales. But that's that's the beauty of it. So Amazon is the biggest. Uh, platform on the internet in terms of e-commerce so it makes up more than I think 60% now of the sales um, on the entire internet so if you want to really make an impact in e-commerce first of all you need to uh, dominate in the Amazon space just because there's so many people here searching for things if you can get yourself um, at the top of that uh, list if people search for you know uh, French press and and if you're ranked you know in the top five you're gonna be making so much money that you don't even know what to do with it um, so I guess I just wanted to show you that first of all to show that you know like this is a this is a real thing you can make a lot of money um, by doing this but um, I guess what I want you to learn out of this is um, how to find your first product and then from that, the results will be able to take that to the next step. Uh, you'll be able to find your supplier and um, and then eventually launch that product. So if I jump into, um, as I was saying before, Jungle Scout is is the main um, the main software that I use. So it's got a whole bunch of stuff, but the the best the best use that I find for it is um, is the product research tool. So um, it's got one of the largest sort of databases. Um, on the internet, also you can find um, suppliers and um, and these sorts of things once once you've found your product. But um, for the sake of this training, um, you guys want to. So we've got uh, the database. You can choose. I I sell in the U.S. and in Australia as well, uh, which isn't sort of listed on here. But you can also sell um, in any of these countries throughout the. Um, Northern and Southern America and also throughout Europe um, and India as well. If if it was me personally starting, I would start in the US um, and um, because I live in Australia as well, I also sell there. But um, if you're just starting out, the US is absolutely fine. So when you're thinking about selling online is the, the first and foremost thing is you, you're you selling a product to sell, uh, to solve a problem. So. Um, you know, if somebody wants to lose weight, then you want to sell them uh, a workout program or a fat burner that they can lose the weight. You know, if somebody has a dog and they want their dog to be, you know, warm throughout winter, 
you want to sell them uh, a dog coat that's going to keep their dog uh, warm throughout winter. So uh, first and foremost, you all entrepreneurship, all products, whether it's on Amazon um, or, or just anything at all, um, you're, you have to remember that in order to, to do well in business, you have to um, provide the most value compared to all of your competitors. And the best way to do that is by um, solving the problem um, in, in the best way possible. So with that said, there are a couple of categories on Amazon that, um, that are a lot easier to do better in. Um, for the sake of this, I, I guess you, you want your item to be small. Um, you want it to be light so that it can be shipped uh, for a cheap price. And then also you want it so that you can add a bit of a twist on the item. So you don't really want to be selling t-shirts or, um, you know, gym clothes or anything like that necessarily. You can definitely make money doing that. But I guess if for just starting out, you want to, you want to just pick a niche where people are like over the top passionate about it and that there's a lot of different products that you can, that you can sell, um, in that niche. So I would say like, um, baby is a good one, arts, craft and sewing, um, potentially beauty and personal care. Although I would say just on that one to be careful with face creams and things like that. It's not a great place to start just due to, you know, lawsuits and things like that. If people have reactions, um, health and household is a good one, home and kitchen and kitchen and dining. So there are other ones. This will probably get us going. Um, we'll be able to find a lot of products just, just by going through these ones here. So I guess in terms of filters, if, if you've got a bit of money, you can go for higher priced items. Uh, if you're just starting out and if you don't want to sort of throw too much money into it, um, I didn't when I started, I just wanted a small amount um, and I wanted it to be a light, light, easy product that I could launch quickly. Um, and I still sell it uh, to this day. So it, it should be it should be relatively low price. So with that said, you probably want $19 at the low range and I would say 50 to $70 um, at the high range, again, it's going to, um, if you go 51, that means we'll capture all the $50 as well. It's, it's, it all comes down to like what you can, what you can handle, um, your risk tolerance and then, uh, how much money you have to start, to start out with it. So the reality is you do need, um, a couple of thousand dollars to get going. Um, anyone that, that tells you any different saying that you can, you know, I started with $5 and, you know, look at me now, uh, they're lying. Um, it's, it's not actually physically possible to do that. So, um, without racking up a ton of uh, credit card debt, which is, wouldn't recommend. <laughs> I just digressed massively. So if we go like back into this, uh, you want the seller type, you want it to be, um, FBA. So you don't want to compete against Amazon. They sell their own products. Um, you want fulfillment by Amazon that, that allows us to just ship straight to the warehouse and then Amazon will handle the rest for us. Fulfilled FBM is fulfilled by merchant. That would be like, if you've got your own, um, massive warehouse, you know, down the track might be something that you, um, can, can move into. I, I still don't. I always just go FBA. I find it's more scalable, but FBM means that you, that you pack and send it yourself. So, I would say I wouldn't worry too much about these ones here. You probably want your maximum sales, maybe like uh, maybe 300 per month maximum. The reviews I wouldn't worry too much about to begin with. Max weight also I wouldn't worry too much to begin with. Uh, the product tier will sort of filter down uh, by the smaller sizes. And, um, I think listing quality scores, so that's just like an in-house algorithm that, uh, that jungle scout uses. So I think, I think that, <laughs> yeah, your boy's an idiot. I, uh, I went to go search here and I pressed reset filters instead of, uh, instead of the search button accidentally, I, uh, just had to put them in back in real quick. So if we press search and away we go off to the races. So. I, if you, I like to sort by reviews first, you generally, 
We generally want low reviews um, as competitors to begin with. And I just realized that's, you probably want, probably want like 100 to 300 sales to begin with. You want some sales. Also, you don't want to go uh, trailblazing and starting your, your own sort of new product. You want to just find something that, that's already selling. Um, that means it's got market proof and then you can just create your own one of those. It's the, it's the easiest way to start. So here we go here. We've got um, so zero reviews. If I just scroll over the top here, it looks like a poster. Um, print for girls room. What's this, another glass Christmas. These things can be a bit fickle. I would be like careful with the, um, any canvases and um, decorations and, and those sorts of things. Cream also, um, as I was saying before, like you probably, to start out with, you don't wanna sell any like makeup or lotions or ointments because um, you'll likely be sourcing this from China to begin with and uh, you, the quality needs to be like a hundred percent bang on. Otherwise you'll just open yourselves up to lawsuits and, and all sorts of nasty things that, uh, that you don't want. So if I just scroll, um, scroll through, what's this eyelash packaging box. So what's this one? 3000 monthly revenue, monthly sales, 120, one review. Yeah, I think that's, Something like this is probably not bad to start with. So it's an eyelash packaging box. I think we could, uh, you could make your own box. You could sell it in a couple of different colors, those sorts of things. So if I add the, uh, if I add the product to, um, if we create a product list here. Um, so what I did there was I just, uh, once you find something that you like, you can just add it to the, uh, to the product tracker. So I'm just gonna go through and just start pinning um, a couple of products where we've got sterling, silver, wire, 20 gauge, my hero, Demia, beauty soaps. So I'd steer clear of any soaps or anything like that. It's no place like home, canvas. Something like this is probably really hard to um, become sort of number one because it's easy to replicate. On slip bath, mat, runners, bath here. Okay, so we've got like a bath mat here, like a non-slip one. Potentially you could have something like this, add it to the product group, or a straw five pack. Glass baby food. Something like this would be all right. You're looking for something unique. Reading glasses. <laughs> what, is, what is that? That does not look like a waterproof personal electric wand. That looks like something else. Uh, product uh, prebiotic fiber. I would also be careful of things that anything that you ingest or um, or, or put it sort of on your skin, I would avoid for your first product. For future products, it's probably fine. Um, but there's a lot of other things that you can, uh, that you can, that you can sell online. So like a non-slip rug, something like this, where you can put, uh, can put a decoration on it. You know, you could, you could make like Chris's bathroom decor.com and just sell like a whole bunch of, uh, just knickknacks for the bathroom. Uh, fashion mask. I mean, this is a bit of a fad product at the moment because of uh, because of COVID. I'd probably stick clear of any fads. You you want to sell something that you can imagine people using for the next decade or more. Um, you don't want to be selling like fidget spinners or anything like that. Herb grinder. Yeah. So something like this. That's unique. That's a that's a kitchen piece. Um, I'm just gonna keep. Uh, geez, there's a lot of these. Uh, <laughs> rechargeable waterproof vibrating ones uh, plastic weave basket 
or you want to avoid something like that stainless steel cocktail set yeah something like this anything where you can like bundle it up stainless steel cocktail set looks a little bit different hair extension clipping hair potentially you could have a look at something like this right ceramic square bowl set baby sleeping sack so anything in baby is usually pretty good vacuum sealer bags premium turkish bath mats lemon squeezer oh yeah something like that kitchen is usually pretty good because you you can have just infinite variations of different things like your lemon squeezer could look um i mean i have one and it doesn't look anything like this but this is obviously like a looks like a mix between like a garlic press and a, and a lemon juice squeezer so you know and anything in kitchen that generally is a bit a uh, bit of a knickknack is uh is pretty good uh you also want to avoid things with a with a battery or, or anything um like that in it, anything electronics. Again, it's fine to do it down the track, but, but first up, you don't really want to have any hiccups, if, especially if you, if something catches fire or whatever, you just, you don't want to, you don't really want to uh, open your up yourself. Like, what's this weighted lap pad, something like that. I could see people using. So you're just gonna literally just keep scrolling um, and by scrolling through all of these, you should be able to get a bit of a, a bit of a gauge for what, what is unique and just things that just continuously pop up like this wire gauge, for example, um, easy weed, heat transfer vinyl, something like that maybe. And then, yeah, you, as I said before, you just want to, uh, keep scrolling and, uh, eventually you i i mean the way that i look at it is you're um you're competing against thousands or even tens of thousands of uh of other sellers like you you have to be willing to put in the extra the extra mile so when i'm looking for products i'll literally like just pencil out like six to eight hours of my day and just sit down and just scroll through products and just literally just look and just pin um all of them and then by the time that i've done that it's um it, it it's a game of numbers like you just want to uh you want to have a lot of products and then by the time that uh that you decide on picking one you've got a good sample size that you can uh you can actually have a look and see what you think is going to sell the best. Um, like what's this? It's like a cast cover or something. Something like that might be okay. <laughs> I've seen these uh, a couple of times. The, uh, the they sell bongs and they and they put them as uh, like glass vases. Um, I would I would steer clear of any like um, any like contraband items that um, like usually something like this. Or like the previous vibrating wand, like you know what it is. Um, I, I would steer clear of that. Like normally, the, it's against the terms and conditions of uh, of Amazon, and they take the listings down pretty quick. Um, you can make a lot of money for sure in in the short term, but long term, it's just. Uh, so I'm just gonna um, go into the actual uh, product tracker because you can just spend hours and hours going through uh, all of these to to find out, you know, what, uh, what's a, what's a good one and, and what isn't. So if you go into the product tracker here, um, you should see all of the pinned items. And so it will say NA at the moment for all the daily ranks and, and daily revenue. But the reason that why that is, is because it just takes a little bit of time. Um, it says 48 hours, but it's, it's usually a lot faster than that. So what I normally like to do is just go to the top and just um, just open them all up and um, at least you've got them saved here now as well. So you just want to go through and just sort of have a look um, at your uh, at your price point. Uh, you want to open up your uh, Jungle Scout app. Um, so if, if I did mention, um, I have managed to get a discount for you guys uh, below. So if you just scroll to the bottom of the video, um, you'll get a, a discount link there as well for your for your first month. 
um, and subsequent months of, uh, of Jungle Scout. So, um, I mean, you don't have to use it, but um, I would recommend it. Otherwise, you know, you're going against, again, tens of thousands of other sellers. They're using all of the software that, uh, that they can get their hands on. So if you're going and, and trying to, to do it without software, then um, you're sort of trying to, to run a race with one leg, you know? Um, so you're sort of putting yourself at a massive disadvantage. Um, but again, I mean, you don't have to, so, but if you do, the, uh, the link is below. Um, so I just, I mean, you just go through here and just have a look. So the next thing that you want to do is you want to go through like, and just search like coffee grinder, which is the main, um, the main keyword uh, of, of the search here. So what you want to do then is you want to just wait for it to load. Um, and then you just sort of have a look at each of the, um, you want to search by monthly revenue. So in this case, there are actually quite a few um, sellers of this coffee grinder, which happens sometimes. So, I mean, you can see here, like you can tell how good they are by the review count. So, you know, like four, 5,000 reviews, 10,000 reviews, that's going to be pretty hard to compete with, uh, to begin with. So you, you might actually want to pick, um, something else, but that's the whole point of doing this activity. So again, we go, um, slushy maker, Slushy maker, plastic cup. All right, so then you wanna do the same thing. You just literally just one by one, just go through the list and um, open up your Jungle Scout um, extension. I should have mentioned this, uh, this Jungle Scout uh, extension is just um, at the bottom here. So you just go to tools, click extension um, and download the Chrome app. So. You want to just go through here and you know like this one looks a lot better to be honest um there's there are a lot lower reviews like this you know before we're up against like ten thousand. like some of these are like you know 200 i mean how like i would even consider selling stuff like this and you might even find stuff that you wouldn't have necessarily have gone for but you might just find them um it sort of just pops up like something like this is probably something that you uh, should consider selling, um, you know. But then again, like back to the plastic cups, you just just sort of have a look through here. You want to look at the monthly revenue and the reviews, and just see whether you can where you whether you can find like a good um, a good a good matchup between the two. So then, what's what's it? Antimicrobial. Was it called? Long, long pick line cover. Don't even know what that is. Apparently it's a thing. Antimicrobial ultra soft pick line cover. So there you go. So it's actually not what I thought it was at all. It's for a drip. Um, so here we go. So there's actually not very much competition on this one at all. And that's something that I would you know, out of everything that we just looked at, for a beginner, this is the best. Look at this, $5,000 a month and only sort of um, 142 reviews or, you know, $4,000 a month, zero reviews. So zero reviews and they're making $4,000 a month. That's ridiculous. Like, you know, most salaries are less than that when you consider the average wage, you know? So, I mean, that. So I'm not going to really go through it um, in, in more detail than that. Like that is literally the process that I follow to find, uh, to find products, you know, like you start out with, with smaller ones in lower value, and then you can literally work your way up to, um, to the bigger value ones until um, you've got, you know, a, a lot more money to spend and, and then really a lot more money to make. So um, I'm going to wrap that up for the, for the first uh, series, which showed you how to find your, um, your, your first product on Amazon. Um, again, click the link below if you want the discount. Jungle Scout is the one that I use. There are other ones, but um, I mean, Jungle Scout is my favorite. It's the biggest and it's been around for the longest. So um, take that with a grain of salt, um, you know, do whatever. It's not gonna impact on me. Um, but um, yeah, hopefully you have learned how to 
find your product, um, go through, spend a day looking through um, to start pinning products and uh, that's your homework. Tomorrow, keep an eye out uh, for the video. We're gonna have a look at how we, um, in this case, we're gonna use this antimicrobial long pick line cover. We're gonna um, have a look on Alibaba to find, um, I'm gonna show you how to find the supplier for that product. So. Um, that'll be the next one in the step. I'll send you an email. It'll be from chris at dominatecommerce.com and it'll have video two um, in, the, uh, in the title. So I'll see you around. Good luck with your product research and I'll see you tomorrow.